So the story of trees in London can't be complete without a mention of the London Plain. And in Chelsea, there are some fantastic examples of London Plains. Uh, behind me is a typical London Plain. Um, this is uh, a tree which has been planted in London for 150, 170 years. There are some even older ones as well, ones 350 years down in Barnes. But the ones in Chelsea are mostly Victorian and Edwardian. This one might be 120 years old, perhaps. Um, and the thing about London Plains is that they were uh, much loved by planners because they would grow rapidly, they cast a lot of shade, and crucially, they were very, very good at resisting the pollution of um, Victorian Edwardian times. London Plains um, are a man-made tree in the sense that they were developed by horticulturalists who hybridised two species, one from North America, uh, that's the American sycamore, and the other from Western Asia and Southeast Europe, the Oriental Plain. They're both plain species, uh, but they didn't meet until those two species came together in the 17th century, probably in Spain or France. They hybridised and produced a very vigorous tree, uh, which is the London Plain. Uh, and the reason they're called London Plains isn't because they come from London, it's just that London planted a lot of them at the end of the 19th century and they got re-exported elsewhere around the world and became known as the London Plain. But we pinched them from Paris, of course. I'm on Feeney Street and behind me is the Feeney Pub, uh, which was named after John Samuel Feeney. John Samuel Feeney was the developer of this area of Chelsea um, he built the streets and the houses in 1851. What was remarkable about this development was at the centre was a tree-lined avenue, and that was the very first tree-lined avenue in London, right here in Chelsea. Um, it was Margareta Terrace, which is uh, behind me on this side, uh, and down that street there is one sole survivor of the trees that he planted, which of course were London Plains. Um, Feeney had spent quite a lot of time in Paris, where he'd seen new tree-lined avenues there and brought them to London. So London was actually late to the party and we copied the idea of uh, street trees and tree-lined boulevards and avenues from Paris. So now we're on Margareta Terrace and behind me is what I reckon the sole survivor of Feeney's development of this area. 170 year old London plain and it's enormous a really magnificent tree that could well be 170 plus years old. This is a ginkgo. Um, ginkgos come from East Asia. Uh, what's really really interesting about them is that they're, they're in the fossil record from 270 million years ago so they predate dinosaurs. Uh, one in Hiroshima survived the atomic bomb. Um, one urban forester in London described them to me as bulletproof because they've outlived all the pests and diseases that might come along to get them. So they're a great tree to plant in a city because they're pollution tolerant, uh, no pests will come and uh, uh, eat their way through them or anything like that. Uh, and they have this really interesting shape and canopy and interesting leaves and that's where the Latin name, ginkgo biloba, comes from. The leaves are in two lobes, bilobed. Um, another interesting thing about this is an English name for it is the maidenhair tree. It's called the maidenhair tree in English because um, the leaf shape is reminiscent of a hairstyle or, uh, much favoured by Chinese maidens at one time. One of the most remarkable things about being in Chelsea is the trees on its streets. And over the years, they've planted some really unusual trees. This is one of them. It's a China berry or Persian lilac tree. 
Um, there are only two of this uh, species that I know of in the whole of London, both of which are Chelsea street trees. Um, it's a tree which is, originates from Asia and it has very subtle uh, mauve flowers which are in the canopy right now. So this tree is one of the other rare trees in Chelsea. This is um, the Catalina ironwood. Um, it's a tree which has a very, very uh, small native distribution, lives on an island uh, called one of the Channel Islands in Cal off the coast of California. Um, it's a tree which shouldn't really grow in London because it comes from much more southerly latitudes, but it thrives on the streets of Chelsea. Um, it has very unusual leaves and this one's in flower right now. Um, which is something I've never seen before, so very interested to have a closer look. So the tree behind me is another Chelsea special. It's a coastal redwood and coastal redwoods come from Northern California. Uh, they're pretty unusual in the wild. They only live in a very small area of Northern California and Oregon. Um, the tallest one is 379 feet. That's 115 and a half meters tall. So that's uh, probably centuries older than this one, but uh, you never know, in a few hundred years, we might have uh, something that is taller than any of the buildings around this part of Chelsea. <laughs> 